Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to send a webhook from Marketo to Zapier. And the reason you want to do this is because Zapier has many different integrations and automation functionality that Marketo does not. So you can get the best of both worlds here by sending information about a person or event from Marketo to Zapier, and then using all of Zapier's automation capabilities and all its third party integrations to streamline your marketing operations workflows. So everything I'm gonna cover here today is summarized in this blog post. I'm just giving this video a walkthrough because sometimes it's a lot better to walk through how a Zap is set up and how things are set up in Marketo rather than reading them through images and text in a blog post. So let's take a look at how the Zap is set up first. This is the very first thing you'll need to start with. So you're gonna use the webhooks by Zapier action, then the catch hook event, and then this URL here, which is under your webhook URL, this is what you're going to copy and use later on within Marketo when we're setting up our webhook. So we'll put that on pause for now, but just make a note that we'll need to use this URL later on. So setting up the webhook is very simple. Then the next part of this is we're going to create a JIRA ticket for the formful event that's going to trigger this workflow to run from Marketo. So here we can see we're pulling in all the information that was sent to us from Marketo in step one. And we're, populate, we're populating the summary of the JIRA ticket as well as all the stuff in the description. Then in the second step, we're just going to update the issue. And here, this is pretty simple. We just include the project key of the JIRA ticket we created in step two. We assign the assignee, we assign the reporter, and we mark the status as to do. Step four is completely optional. Um, this is just some Python code that I use to calculate 30 days in the future from when the form was submitted. So it gets the current time and then adds 30 days. And then this is what we'll use later on in the Slack message. We'll pull in that future date 30 days from now to let people know that this JIRA ticket with this URL needs to be completed by then. And step five is just pretty simple. We're going to send a channel message to Slack and we're going to include a URL to the JIRA ticket as well as the date it needs to be completed. So this Zap overall is pretty simple. Uh, you can have whatever steps you want in here, but the main thing for this Zap is just setting up the catch web hook trigger at the very start. And then we're going to copy, we're going to copy this URL here. And I already have um, a web hook set up to send information to Zapier. So we can see the URL here. If you want to create a new one, you just go to new webhook up the top, you name it. The URL you're going to paste in is going to be this value here. The template, it depends what information you want to send to Zapier, but it's usually going to contain some lead token information or some system token information because you're sending information about people from Marketo or events they complete to Zapier. For request token encoding, we're going to select JSON and we're going to leave response type as none. And then we're going to create the webhook. If you want an example of a payload template that you could use, I've included one here in the blog post. So you can just copy and paste this and you'll notice how we're using lead tokens here to pull in information about a lead that we're going to send to Zapier. And these all just happen to be information that we get from a form fill. So I'll show you that workflow later on. But the basic premise is there's going to be a form fill. They're going to submit all this information to the form, and then we're going to send it to Zapier. So this is how the webhook is set up. And then the very next step is we're going to have a fills out form event in Marketo. And then we're very simply going to request the webhook that we just created in the admin section. And then that's it. All this information that the person submits to the form will get pulled into the webhook using these lead tokens. And the date that the form was submitted will be pulled in using the system date time token. And then we send that to Zapier and that's what's gonna kick off this whole workflow here to create the JIRA ticket containing all the information that was submitted in the form. 
the date when it's going to need to be completed. And then we're going to notify people in Slack that this ticket has been created. So hopefully this is all pretty straightforward and simple. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this YouTube video, comment within the post, or reach out to me on my site. If you go to the Workflow Pro bio, there's a little contact form here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks. Have a great day.